We'll be seeing Carl Lewis in the first round of the long jump. We're going to see Edwin Moses going for his gold medal in the hurdles. All sorts of things going on. A, a semifinal of the women's 100 meters coming up. Okay, Al. Well, Jim, that's quite a shot, isn't it? Last night, the crowd count in excess of 88,000. I don't see very many empty seats tonight. A uh, crowd in just about that same neighborhood. As you say, it is extremely hot. I would estimate they used to have that old gauge up on the peristyle in here that would tell you how hot it is. It's around 90 degrees. This morning, they are estimating a crowd of 78,000 looked on and 91,000 the estimate for today. Now, we opened our show with the women's 100 semis. Here was the other semifinal action. In the first semifinal, in the women's 100-meter dash, Evelyn Ashford won it. Merlene Adi Page of Jamaica second. Grace Jackson third. Angela Taylor was fourth. Ashford won it in 11.03. So those four will be going on to the final, which will take place at about 6.35 local time. The first four finishers in each semi qualifying for a chance to win the gold medal. And we are ready now for the second semi-final in the women's 100 meter dash with two Americans in this one. This will be the third of what they hope will be four races for each. Heidi Galgel of West Germany is in lane one. In lane two is Alice Brown of the United States and right next to her is Jeanette Bolden also of the United States, a 1980 Olympian. Then Juliet Cuthbert of Jamaica and remember her two country women have already made it into the final. Angela Bailey of Canada is outstanding. She is in lane five. And Heather Oaks has a shot at it in lane six from Great Britain. Rosamie Bakul from France is in lane seven. On the outside, Pauline Davis of the Bahamas. Now, the ladies to watch will be Brown and Bolden in two and three. Bailey could be tough in lane five, Wilma, as well. Yes, uh, I think the advantage is that uh, Bolden and uh, Brown are running side by side they have explosive starts and uh, they should get out together and make for a better race very warm afternoon temperature i would guess pretty close to 90 degrees right now top four to go on to the final brown in two Seven. bolden in three Up. and a false start as jeanette bolden came out of the blocks first so you're allowed one false start a second would result in a disqualification. 11.03 was Ashford's time. In the first semi, Bolden's best ever is 11.15. Brown has run an 11.08 as again you look at the lineup in the second semifinal. On your mark. Jeanette Bolden. Next to her, Alice Brown. Alice has been around for a while, a top American in 1980. American sprinter came back in 81 following a series of injuries. And from the start, Brown explosively comes out of the blocks along with Bailey in lane five. It is Brown, it is Bolden in lane three. Brown is going to win it. Bolden lines up second. It looks like Bailey got third. And it could be Rosamie Bakul, a bit of an upset, finishing fourth. That would put her into the final. But three Americans will be among the eight now in the final of the women's 100-meter dash. Alice Brown came flying out of the blocks that time and led from start to finish. Uh, Alice Brown is so exciting. She's exciting because she has such an explosive start. Uh, she's explosive. She, uh, if you can watch here, the two Americans, uh, Alice Brown and Jeanette Bolden, Alice has a fantastic start. She is out of the block at the sound of the gun. She sort of uh, catches Jeanette a little bit sleeping, and she comes up a little bit straighter, but she, as she gets down the straightaway, Jeanette Bolden will... Uh, uh, accelerate and she will come in second but Alice Brown looks fantastic she's in control uh, I mean there's no planning in this race the only thing you have to do is to go out there get a fantastic start and take it all the way to the finish line and Alice Brown is doing exactly that little doubt though that Evelyn Ashford will be the lady to beat unquestionably in the final Ashford won her semi in 11.03 Brown crossing the line in 11.30 a pretty substantial difference Oh, yes, a uh, substantial difference. Um, um, Alice will certainly be right in the race tomorrow. All right, so coming up in a little while will be the final of the women's 100 meters.
Now we're live again. That semifinal action took place about 10 minutes ago, and thus, there's the lineup now. Ashford, Brown, and Bowles.